All right, guys, I'm finally taking a look at the Hamilton Pilot Pioneer. This is the, uh, whatever that part number is, H76541, yeah. I'll put it down in the description, and then the retail on it, it's 845 So big thanks to Mimo at Mimo's Jewelry for lending this in. I really appreciate that, and I think all of you guys should uh, show some gratitude. Click on his website, check it out. Maybe you find something you want to purchase or whatever, get a hold of Mimo, tell him I sent you all that good stuff. Every, all the info will be in the description. So I uh, just wanted to get that straight out of the way. Big thanks to Mimo for this because he's constantly sending in some killer watches in this new Hamilton, well, reissue of the old W10, almost a one-to-one -one copy. There are going to be a few changes, the movement most notably, and then of course the crystal and a few other things. I'm sure there's some um, pros out there that are like, uh, you know, vintage watch guys that are going to be able to pick it apart, but essentially it's kind of the same watch. So let's talk case size. You're looking at a 36 millimeter case. Very, very nice looking case, all brushed. Um, just well, well done case. There's no, there's no gripes on there. Nice signed crown. It is a push pull crown. I believe it's a 10 bar water resist. So like a hundred meter. Um, but the crown action is very uh, robust feeling for how small it is. Because the whole watch is pretty small. 36 mil watch is one of the smaller watches that you're going to see on this channel. And then the lug to lug is a 41 and a half. But you can see the way the K-shape is. I mean, it's kind of like hollowed out there. There's definitely a lug design there for sure on the underside that you don't really notice on the top side. So 41 and a half lug to lug. The thickness, if you measure from the bottom to the top of the uh, mineral crystal, you are looking at a 10.14. But as you can notice, the crystal is set directly into the case. There's no bezel on there. So I went ahead and took a measurement of just the case, not including the crystal, and it's only 6.2. But if you look closely, it's hard to see, but you can kind of see the handset like it is up above the case. It's up in that space where the crystal is. So they have to box it up like that because there's just not, I mean, it's a mechanical movement, um, you know, hand wind. So you don't have the automatic rotor, but still 6.2 millimeter, that's not enough room to play with. So they're going to protrude up into that uh, boxed in area with the crystal. So which I think is really cool. So you got to look really close to see it, but you have a, a really good high texture dial on there, nicely polished handset with um, old style cream loom filled in there. I'll do a loom shot at the end. It does have loom. It's uh, one of the str you know stronger Hamilton formulas. It's not going to be like punch in the face uh, bright or anything like that, but it's definitely going to be bright enough for a, a reissue field watch, if you will. But you can see the level of perfection on this thing. For essentially, um, you know, it's a, it's still an affordable watch. We're under the thousand dollar mark. It's eight forty five. There's probably going to be some discount codes. I'm assuming, um, and then there's two different variants. As far as I know, there's this NATO great NATO one, and then there's a leather strap one. But I think it's the same watch. So both of them house uh, the H fifty mechanical movement. So I don't know if you can hear that. So you got a nice mechanical wind to it. It's it's not sloppy or anything like that. It feels like you would expect a me mechanical watch to feel when you're winding it. So once you get a full wind on it, you're going to have 80 hour power reserve. So that's a really nice long life of the uh, the movement there. Um, so I think we did our close ups. We talked about the size. Um, I don't know a ton of history on it, guys. To be honest with you. Um, just regurgitating some information I read on the Hamilton site. This this was a originally put out in like 1973 for the British Royal Air Force. So that's where it gets some of its history from. Um, so, I mean, it's it's got a lot of history when it comes to the uh, British side of things. Let me pop this watch off. I'm going to give you a wrist shot of this 36 millimeter watch on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And we'll also talk about the strap a little bit more because it has really nice hardware. And it's, uh, oh, you know what I didn't talk about on the size? It is a 18 millimeter um, lug width. 
So finding a strap is, I don't want to say it's going to be difficult, but, you know, getting an 18 mil uh, with strap, they're out there. There's plenty of them out there, but like it's not as common. So there it is on my seven and a quarter. I could totally wear this. Like it's it's so funny because I'm I've been wearing like big watches, you know, like I was just wearing that Seiko Sumo and stuff like that, and then it's it's kind of fun to pop on a, a vintage style 36 mil watch. I mean, because this was this was a regular thing. This was a normal size watch not that long ago. So there's room for every which size watch and um, style of watch that you could possibly think of out there. So you have really nice stainless hardware. Uh, both these keepers are fixed sewn into the uh, strap signed hardware up here all stainless steel and there must be a spring bar in there but there's no hole there so um but i also noticed they like leather wrap tipped and tapered the end of the strap so that makes it kind of nice fitting it through uh, all the bits so let me peel this off though and i want to show you the case back because it's got a protective coating on it, but I'll, I'll lift it up a little bit for you. I don't think Mimo will get too upset, but so you can see it's, it's a stainless case back and it's got four tiny screws holding it down. And I'm not going to peel this all the way off, but if I can get it again, I wanted to just kind of show you what it looked like. So Hamilton Swiss made water resistance, 10 bar, 145 PSI. And then it has the model number. And then of course the serial number. So, um, just really nice, clean, simple watch. So if this was something you guys were looking at, maybe jumping into, I would just go for it. I mean, if this is what you're looking for, I think, I don't know what the prices of the old W10s are, but I got to believe they're probably not super cheap or anything like that. When you can get a brand new one um, with modern parts and everything like that, um, I think we're in a day and age where you can just buy the new stuff and enjoy it and wear it and not have to worry about it at all. You don't have to worry about servicing it for a long time or anything like that. So let me get you that loom shot. Like I said, don't expect a, a Seiko Monster loom or anything like that. But uh, you can see the hour and minute hand is going to be a little more potent. And then, of course, the indice marks are going to be loomed as well as the triangle just below the 12 hash there. So, all right, guys, uh, big thanks to Mimo again. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next video.